हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू आवर न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस विद एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम्स द बाय फार द मोस्ट करंट और लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस व्हिच इज़ टेकिंग ओवर इनटू एवरी मशीन एवरी सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इज़ द बजिंग टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजीज सो लेट एस गो थ्रू आर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ artificial intelligence and expert system series so the paper we are studying is introduction to artificial intelligence and expert systems under this the first unit which we are going to go through is introduction to artificial intelligence under this first unit we are going to go through some points which are going to bring light to what exactly this artificial intelligence is all about and why it is the most current technology which is getting over on every software or system and has become one of the vital part of trending development into technology and is taking over into every field it is not restricted to computer science only but is making its grip into every possible business and every possible we can say branches so the points which we are going to study today in our lecture is definition of artificial intelligence some branches or domains of artificial intelligence which are serving and making it this popular and beneficial for human but still artificial intelligence is beneficial for human or not is still a topic to be debate so let us go through our first point which is the definition of artificial intelligence as we already know that mr allen turing already put forward this concept or idea about maybe a question asking can machines think so this was the point back decades back where actually the first initiation of idea of machine thinking got started and after him the the idea was taken further by mr john mccarty and he was the one who coined the term artificial intelligence that is ai so according to the father of artificial intelligence mr john mccarty it is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines especially intelligent computer programs so the definition itself is saying that it is not restricted to making intelligent machines but making some intelligent computer programs so if you are programming a intelligent software it is also going to be something which is artificially intelligent the term itself is saying that we are going to produce or create intelligence but which is artificial it will be similar to the natural or the real intelligence which is possessed by humans but it is definitely at the end of the day going to be artificial and programmed so artificial intelligence is a way of making a computer a computer controlled robot or a software think intelligently in the similar manner like intelligent humans think so the all idea behind the development of artificial intelligence was making machines think like human so we are actually initiating from developing computer to machine to robot when we say robot it was initially something which was supposed to carry out some task some prefed instructions that's it but now we are heading towards a robot which is going to think for himself and for us too so after alan turing's question can machines think the term artificial intelligence was coined by john mccarty at dartmouth conference now let us go through some domains or branches of artificial intelligence so whether or still if we say that this is the latest or current technology in the branch of computers but the initiation of this technology has happened decades behind so it is already much older now as we think but still it has made its branches from 
starting from robots to many more so there are some of branches of computers artificial intelligence which is machine learning deep learning neural networks natural language processing object detection computer vision robotics expert systems fuzzy logic and many more so these are some of the important ones i can say some of the ones which are getting its hand in hand with artificial intelligence and have become uh, the most important ones so amongst these if we speak about artificial intelligence there are two branches which immediately comes in mind those are machine learning and deep learning many a times machine learning deep learning and artificial intelligence are supposed to be one and the same which is actually not i could say correct uh, conception artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning all of them are different branches now let us first understand what these three branches are all about so before that one question which comes in mind is is artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning one and the same so answer to this question is no they are not same now let us understand what these three branches are all about as you can see the diagram itself is giving you a glimpse of how exactly these three technologies might be working so if we call this as a set or a domain artificial intelligence domain machine learning is a subset of the artificial intelligence domain it is a part of artificial intelligence and again if we closely observe deep learning is another subset of machine learning so you can say deep learning is a part of machine learning machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence and at the end of day both are included in artificial intelligence but still both machine learning and deep learning have its own different identity in spite of artificial intelligence so when we speak about the field of artificial intelligence it can be said that ai with machine learning ai with deep learning machine learning with deep learning so at the end of the day all the three are interconnected but technically speaking and specifically talking artificial intelligence is a branch machine learning is a subset of ai and deep learning is a subset of machine learning so machine learning is something which helps machines to take decisions by feeding them some data there are some set of algorithms which are already developed and tested and are used which have some steps inside them which makes machines to think or make or take their own decisions on the basis of data fed deep learning is subset of machine learning which uses the concept of neural network now if you have uh, got a little of biological background in your back studies neural networks are something which are related to brain so while scientists and developers were thinking about making or creating something known as artificial intelligence when we say the term intelligence it is associated to brain so making it short they wanted to replicate the functioning of brain the way the brain functions the way it acts they wanted to replicate it in a form of a technology or a device or a chip something which could act like a brain and at the end of the day act like human so deep learning is something which makes use of neural networks and it is especially used in solving complex problems so if you say if they are subsets of each other at the end of the day all the three technologies which is artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning or neural networks are interconnected to each other 
Now let us go through the next domain or next branch of artificial intelligence which is expert systems. The name itself is giving us an idea that expert is someone which takes or gives some expert opinions or we can say some expert decisions. We get expertise on something if we have got that amount of experience, that amount of knowledge and that amount of historic data. So if all the three elements are present near you and if you have worked on a particular field for a very long period of time, you automatically get some expertises. So developing an expert system is an artificial intelligence system that learns and imitates human beings decision making ability. So the way humans take their decisions or make some decisions that is imitated or that is copied or that is actually put forward into system and is termed as expert system. It makes use of logical notations to achieve its aim. It is mainly used in the field of op operating medical facilities and detecting virus infections. So basically it is made use in the field of medical and also it is used in the banking sector for loan and investment analysis. The next field or branch of artificial intelligence is robotics which we all are very 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 familiar to. There are many sci-fi Bollywood and Hollywood movies based on the theme or the topic of robotics. We have already gone through and at the end of the movie majorly many of the movies show that it is overruled the world is overruled by robotics so as i early earlier told you that ai is good or bad is still debatable so one branch of artificial intelligence is robotics which is the main or basic aim of the branch of robotics is deploying robots to help humans with tedious and bulky tasks. These tasks involve the control of computer systems, information transformation and manufacturing of automobiles. Even NASA uses it to move heavy objects in the space. So as we already know, the field of robotics is also very much developing. Starting from the traditional robots having a set of instructions and carrying out every instruction robotically to the social humanoid, the most popular social humanoid, Sophia, which has got gestures now, which is communicating with you, which interacts in the best possible manner with any person. Any person from any field can connect with Sophia because of her maybe algorithms or we can say the deep learning or machine learning and natural language processing and artificial intelligence so it all started with developing a machine which could help human in factory or in industry even in nasa in space and then now coming up to sophia the next branch of artificial intelligence is neural network so it is also known as deep learning because it involves making use of artificial brain neurons to solve complex problems. Neural network helps machines process how human brain operates. The branch of AI is also involved in implementing mathematical functions and statistical techniques to solve real world problems. It is used in fields such as risk analysis, market research, fraud detection, forecasting and stock exchange prediction. So one application on social media of neural networks is face verification algorithms which we all use, which we all have already in our hand and we use it. So neural networks is actually something which shows how a brain thinks. So if you want to go for predictions, for example, if uh, you can predict tomorrow's climate 
on the basis of today's say for example today's temperature was near about 38 or 40 degree celsius tomorrow it could be maybe even burst or even less depending on today's situation we go on predictions so this is the branch of artificial intelligence which is serving into predicting so if you are given some stock exchanges history for from last five years for a particular company on the basis of its statistical data it can actually predict that in the coming year whether the company is going to gain into the stock exchanges or is going to lose it so this is how it works secondly fraud detection one example of fraud detection could be like um, nowadays social media is on hike like it is the only thing only source of you can say interaction or something which is connecting a person from one country to another so we all are connected socially across globe so if you are making use of twitter or facebook you know if you have public accounts there are some malicious comments or some some abusive comments coming out so artificial intelligence neural network can help you actually find out from a list of comments which comments were harassing which comments were something not worth posting socially and it can automatically eliminate them so this kind of fraud detection can also be taken place using neural network fuzzy logic so we all have studied fuzzy logic in either mathematics or in electronics we know that fuzzy helps us in creating some truth tables so the answer is in the form of either yes or no that is one or zero on the basis of the answers gained using fuzzy truth table a graph is constructed against the answers and finally we get a pattern or we get something worth concluding so this is again a part of we can say ai natural language processing has helped a lot in the development of artificial intelligence so as you can see in the picture if you have incorporated or written some natural language processing code or algorithms for a robo it can understand the user's speech firstly it can intellectually respond to the user on the basis of the understood content it can understand written material by reading it earlier robots were having sensors and camera to only check if it is moving in the right direction or not so that it cannot get banged on the walls or on the door but nowadays robots have got sensors and cameras in the form of eyes so if you have gone through sophia she can actually see you she can sense you and if you are meeting her for the second time she can actually recognize you so this is this has become possible because of because of uh, neural networks and natural language processing so the process of making computer system and machines to understand basic human interaction it is used the process involves a machine receiving human sound from interaction and converting it to text format so that it can be easily read and understood these texts are then converted to components by the computer system that will make it understand and actually find the intention of the humans so this is all about the four five or six branches of artificial intelligence i hope you understood them they are vague there are many to be discussed but these are the most current and the important ones so thank you so much i hope you understood it